एलिवेट टीवी एडवांस इन किंगडम लाइफ स्टाइल Rini mashanda nama sa sosele maniba shata gada ba lika mana sosele bana da ba shala di da ba emre di balo sosila ta ba da na ba na na ba shete ba ya da roni ba sa se zovala zovala ni vida gama la da ba ya da da ya repele mona sa se zile ba la ni ne shata ta ta la ba. Repepele para da ba da da ba sa sa da na ma she vo si si la ta la ba ro da ba. Rima na su se le ma no ma na kapa la fila she ne da. Re ne ma na ma sa sa de vro sa se ne. I si di va da i si di da ba la ba lo su se na ma na na ta ba la si se na da ya. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh God, oh God. We are grateful for the blood. We are grateful for the blood. We are grateful for the cross. Elo kosia tambi na vilo kopra ni amani valos da banana na no ti la habele da ya da ya ya. If what they are to say feel wa hamine do da ya. That's my portion. It's in the precious blood of the Lamb. I found healing. That's my portion. It's in the precious blood. Of the land, I found healing. That's my portion. It's in the precious blood of the Lamb. I found healing. That's my portion. It's in the precious blood of the Lamb. The healing flows in the blood. Yes, it is in the blood. By His stripes we are healed from all sickness. Flows in the blood. Yes, it is in the blood. By His stripes, let me never or from all sickness. Healing flows in the blood. Yes, it is in the blood. By His stripes, we are here. From all sickness, healing flows in the blood. Yes, it is in the blood. By His stripes, I am. By His stripes, I am healed. Healing flows in the blood. Yes, it is in the blood. By His stripes we are healed from all sickness. Redemption flows in the blood. Yes, it is in the blood. We 
of redemption through the blood of the Lamb. Redemption flows in the blood. Yes, it is in the blood. Redemption flows in the blood. Yes, it is in the blood. We have redemption through the blood of the Lamb. Redemption flows in the blood. Yes, it is in the blood. We have redemption. 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 Through the blood of the Lamb, redemption flows in the blood. Yes, it is in the blood. I am not seeing the Lord. I know you. Through the blood of the Lamb, redemption flows in the blood. Yes, it is in the blood. We have redemption through the blood of the Lamb. Healing flows through the blood. Yes, it is in the blood. By His stripes we are healed from all sickness. Oh, healing from yeah. Yes, it is in the blood. By His stripes we are healed from all sickness. Tonight is your night, my friend. Good evening. God bless you. So very much. Uh, we are here at the Healing Balm of Gilead program tonight. Our desire is to stand in the presence of God mm. as we always do every minute of our lives mm. and provoke the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ to alleviate suffering and to bring the grace of God by the Healing Balm of Gilead. This is that show that you love. I just want to ask you now in Jesus name to just call in the people. Let's go to the Facebook, the YouTube, all over the social media platforms. And those of you that, you know, watch us on TV all over the place tonight, we would want to know where you are watching us from as we welcome you for this wonderful, wonderful grace field, you know, um, glory field power packed you know program full of the presence of God you don't want to miss this you want to fellowship with us tonight for we come to you in union with Christ himself the one who died so that by his stripes we were healed that's the theme we're going to be talking about tonight and before we continue please call in your friends and let us you know, go through this. And if you have someone that you would want to believe God for tonight, let us know. We want you to start just writing to us as much as you can. And we're going to make prayer and intercession for all of us tonight. I just want to invite uh, uh, our guest tonight, uh, 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 Apostle Magdarin again is here. Apostle Kindly, look at that camera, greet the people, invite them. Wow, wow. Praise the name of the Lord. It's a good evening. Uh, we thank God for you and we hope you are tuning in right now to be with us, to be blessed with us and also to receive your healing tonight because I know the power of God is in this place to heal us. And this power is going to reach you in your homes because the power of God is not limited. So you're most welcome. Please welcome the, the sick people. Uh, call them, share this and we will be blessed together. 
God yes. bless you. In one of the programs, Apostle Magdalene, I remember someone going to her mother who was with the mother in the hospital. Okay. And when the program was going on, they were putting the, pro the phone wow. on her ears. Oh, shh. And she, she's called Caroline. Mm. And that night she testifies and says that the Lord just came in so wonderfully mm. and touched her that night. Mm. She was in so much trouble and suffering. Mm. But the Lord lifted her up. The Lord broke that yoke for oh, her. Hallelujah. She was able to sleep that night. Mm. So we don't just do this program mm. for the sake of doing it. We believe there is a recipient out there. And listen, this is also our contention for the airwaves. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the grace of God and the Lord's goodness is with us. This voice, the voice of healing, the voice of the healing balm of Gilead shall go out there in the airwaves. And guess what? That voice is going to land on a person that needs to be touched by God. And they are going to be touched tonight. Amen. Apostle, I listened to the program that you end. Yeah. And I'm so happy to be with you in the program tonight. Thank you so much. You look beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. You look beautiful too. <laughs> Thank God for the Praise grace. Praise the Lord. Amen. I, I listened to the, the last program that you did. Mm -hmm. What testimonies? What testimonies? Yeah. What testimonies of the glory of God, of the love of God, of the mercies of God? Mm -hmm. The Lord wants to heal his people. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the grace of God. That's, yeah. that's the healing power of God yeah. uh, that I experienced. And I always know and believe that whoever takes this, he is healed. He can be healed. Yeah. Or oh, them today is a, uh, we are healed by the stripes of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. So I believed in this, uh, in this power. Mm -hmm. I believed in the blood. Mm -hmm. And I know someone else who is listening today. Mm -hmm. If he believes with us tonight. Mm -hmm. This will be your portion in Jesus' mighty name. In the it's name all about Jesus. believing that the power mm. and the stripes of Jesus Christ have, have healed us. What is this believing? What is this believing? You keep using the word believing. Yeah, I yeah. believed in the power. Mm -hmm. I believed in the power of the mm -hmm. blood mm -hmm. and all that. What is this believing? In the book of James 5.15 it says, mm. it, it, it says, and the prayer of faith. Yeah. And the prayer of faith will save the one who is sick. Yeah. And the Lord will raise him up. It's about the prayer of faith. Having faith in God, believing in this God. When you do this prayer, believing and having faith in him, the, the healing becomes automatic. It's about mm -hmm. the faith and believing in the one who heals, the one who died for us. Because after the death, he gave us power to become. To become the sons of God. The sons of God. And in sonship is healing. And in the sonship, it's everything. Yes. Healing is included. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. So if we are sons of God. Yes. Then this is our inheritance. It, actually, healing is our inheritance. Yes. It's and our portion. It is our portion. Mm. And there is no... Uh, we, we, we don't argue about it. Yeah. It is given. Yeah. It was given. The moment he received those stripes, mm. he, he actually released the healing power upon our life. So you have come to you have to come to this knowledge. Yes, you have to come to to this knowledge mm -hmm. of this word of the Lord yeah. and what he did on the cross. Yes. And after what he did on the cross, he gave us power, he gave us authority, and um, and actually that's uh, I think we can also see the word of God again in that book. We can start from um, verse five. But he was pierced for our offenses. Yes, he was. Uh -huh. yes, he was Lord. crushed for our iniquities Thank or our Jesus. wrongdoings. Yes. So the punishment of our peace was upon him. That is why we call him Prince of Peace. He has all the package for us. The, yeah. Mm. He has all the package. Mm -hmm. So the problem with our people or with ourselves mm. is that we don't know the package is already there for mm -hmm. us. U.S. is just to go and claim it, mm -hmm. pick it. Through mm -hmm. prayer, through, through faith, prayer, through believing, mm, yes. through prayer tonight. Yes, and it says by His stripes. By His stripes, we were, we were, not we are, we are. No, we were healed long time ago. Yes, yes, we were healed, and we are also healed, and we are also healed even now. You know, but <laughs> it is about believing. Yes, yes, and and really thinking about God's word. Yes, and thinking about the promise mm -hmm. of the Lord. Yes, 
the word that proceeds from the mouth of the Lord. Mm -hmm. I think we got, uh, I mean, uh, uh, Abraham says mm -hmm. that he never wavered mm -hmm. in unbelief mm -hmm. because he believed mm -hmm. that the one from whose mouth mm. those words proceeded yes. was, is faithful. He was faithful mm -hmm. and those ones that proceeded from his mouth also mm -hmm. were alive. Were alive. To us. Yes. So if those ones were alive to us, yes. so we should live a full life because the word Hallelujah. of God in itself is life to us. Yes. And the book of John, the gospel of John chapter 10, yeah. verse 35, mm -hmm. the Bible says, mm -hmm. Jesus speaking to the Pharisees, mm -hmm. talking about the word of God. Mm -hmm. And he says, if he called them gods, yeah. and to whom the word of God came, mm. oh my God, Kalabuza by kata. his tribes mm. we are healed mm -hmm. that's the word of god mm -hmm. and those who receive that word mm -hmm. that word be they, makes them gods yes with a small g yes that's what the scripture is saying yes. here and then he says and the scripture mm. cannot be broken it cannot be broken yeah. it is true yes it is right yeah it is proven yeah yes <laughs> I'm getting excited here. The scripture cannot be broken. The word of God is going to be performed for mm -hmm. someone tonight. Mm -hmm. Bring in your friends, my, my friends, and start to tell us also where you are watching us from. Yes, we've had, we've had people from Meru watching us many times in oh, this wow. program. And all the people in Meru, God bless you and please welcome to the program. Amen. Let us know that you are watching. We've had people from Nyeri. One day we were praying here wow. and a person called in from Nyeri. Oh, glory to God. And the Lord touched her mm. and she started to dance and shout in the house. Shout and we could Moshe. hear the dance and the celebration. Mm. Tonight is your night of celebration mm. because the word of God cannot be broken. Surely he is faithful to his word mm. in the name of Jesus. We have an SMS line tonight. And that SMS line is 0719. Please write to this one your prayer requests now because we're going to be praying at the end of this program. 0719-666-655. Yes. And then you can call us on 0711. 0711-109. 390. Let me repeat that again. 0711 uh, You can call us. We will pick your call and we will stand with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, in Jesus' name. So that we can be able to enter your world by faith. So that the word of God can be performed for you because it cannot be be broken yes you talked a lot about certain things that god has done for you yeah and we testify mm -hmm. the bible says mm -hmm. that they overcame mm -hmm. by the word of their testimony sure. and i think when we testify when we testify mm -hmm. we are able to bring another person yes. to the fellowship mm -hmm. to the fellowship mm -hmm. of our testimony sure to the fellowship of the one who did for us what we are testifying about. Yes. So that they can see him clearly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because in, when you're testifying, you're saying, I'm a witness. Yeah. I was there. Mm -hmm. I was in pain. Mm -hmm. I was in trouble. Mm -hmm. I called upon his name. Sure. He had me. Mm -hmm. He healed me. Amen. I saw it with my own eyes. Mm -hmm. I experienced it for myself. Amen. And I live to testify today so that someone else can come mm -hmm. and know that the same one that touched Mm -hmm. Apostle Magdalene mm -hmm. can also touch me. Mm -hmm. And I think tonight we are going to go into one or two other testimonies. Yes. This very fabulous, yeah. you know, uh, fantastic testimonies mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. you are always giving of the goodness of God yeah. to encourage somebody on a hospital bed tonight. Sure. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Mm. So we, um, I, I, I can also appreciate God for those that are watch, watching. Absolutely. From, from, Absolutely. Um, they are watching from UK. Yes. This is one, um, one of my sons. Mm -hmm. He's a pastor there. Pastor Wilfred Musioki is watching from UK. And mm -hmm. this uh, uh, Ashley also watching from uh, Lebanon. 
Wow. Yeah. Yes. Um, I just, Karibuni. Yeah, mm. just woke up more of them. Yeah. So I, I actually want to testify uh, what the Lord has been doing. And um, I know the power of testimony. The power of testimony brings people close to God more than before. And they believe if God did this for her, uh, he can also do it for me. Mm. And also, actually on our, cell, on our side, the book of uh, Psalms 30 verse 2 says, Lord my God, I called you for help and you healed me. So it's also the healings, uh, the healings we have received before also it's, uh, gives us strength to move forward and to give power to testify. So there's one time um, uh, this, I got a disease uh, or kidney disease. Oh, that, that time I was 207. Two or seven, I was in in Europe, and the disease was so bad. I didn't know I had kidney problem, but the moment um, I was almost dying, um, ambulance came. My son called for ambulance. My husband told my son, "Call for ambulance. I'm not around. Please call for an ambulance and take your mother to hospital." So when they came, they said, "I'm almost uh, 45 minutes to survive." So. By the time I got to hospital, where we were living was around 25 minutes away from hospital. Yeah. So that tells you that I have 20 minutes to get to get to to die or yeah. to get to hospital. Yes. But I believed from my ambulance bed, I started calling God with my. That was my first time actually to speak in tongues in spirit. <laughs> <laughs> I I had I could not speak. I could hear from very far. I have 45 minutes to survive. I was thinking about where I am and where I'm going. I have now 20 minutes, but I called upon the Lord and I believed in this God. And I told God, God, I know you are my healer. For your heart tells us, you are the one that healeth all our diseases. Mm -hmm. I may not know why I'm suffering from, yes, yes. but I'm, they are saying I'm 45, I have 45 minutes to survive. But I believe in the, in the power of God yeah. that he led. Yeah. Even before the doctors touch me, yeah. I know I'll get to that hospital. And even before I get to hospital, I'll be healed. I was speaking in spirit because I was not able even to talk. Yeah. And by the time I got to a hospital, all the doctors left whatever they were doing. Yeah. They came, they surrounded me. Yeah. And actually, uh, they said the infection that is in, uh, in my body is getting through the spine. It's the moment it get to my hand, then I'll be garbage in the next few minutes. Yeah. But I believed in God. I don't know what they did. They were doing what they were doing. Actually, they folded my back. They injected me from, the, from my spine to put some medication. Mm -hmm. But that is not what I believe in. I believed on God that I called. I reminded God of the cases that he has dealt with in my life before. And I believed in him. I trusted in him. And he actually healed me. I'm a living testimony today. Someone who was to die in 45 minutes. I have, I'm still living since 2007. Mm. So I have tasted this power of the stripes of Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. Mm. And I'm, a, I'm living testimony. I'm, I'm speaking to someone who mm -hmm. might, might be listening to us today. Yes, yes. Have that faith in God. Believe in him. That by stripes you are healed. Yeah. Right now Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm. It doesn't matter where you are. You may be in high ICU. Mm. Your people may even be listening on your behalf. Mm. But we speak the faith of God. Mm -hmm. The faith mm. that we, mm. we have. It will be transferred to you right now. Sometimes I tell my people. If you have no faith, ride on my faith. We pray Pray that you ride on our faith here with the woman of God yeah. and you believe that you'll be healed. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. If the power of the Spirit of God that raised Christ from dead. That raised Christ from the dead. Dwells in us. Dwells in us. Then the same spirit. Then the same spirit. Will give this mortal body life. Thank you. <laughs> Repeat it again. Romans 8 11 says. Yes. If the spirit that raised Christ from dead dwells in us, yes. has those that believe yes. in God, yeah. then the same spirit that raised Christ from dead will give you a mortal body life. So yeah. we speak life to you. So even if you are not spirit filled, yes. right now the spirit of God ca can hoover, can hoover around and enter you. And in enter Jesus. your hospital yes. space and your hospital bed. Yes. 
the Holy Ghost can hover over your mind if you allow him tonight mm. by faith. And the apostle says, even if you don't have faith, mm. ride on our faith. Mm. Ride on my faith. Yes. We are here yielding to God yes. for ourselves mm. and for you, our viewer, in the name of Jesus. If the power, the spirit of God and the power of God would hover over the dead body of Jesus Christ mm. and reverse the element that causes decomposition on mm. a dead body and raise him up. And the same thing with Lazarus. Mm. Surely what is a sickness mm. right now, that power is here yeah. and is present because we have a legal ground in the spirit to stand on, mm. which is the word of God that by his stripes, by his stripes, by his stripes you are healed. Yes, in the name of Jesus, Jesus the power of God that raised Jesus Christ from the dead is coming upon your body right now in the name of Jesus. And I want to invite you, please call your friends. You know what? If we had there was a healer somewhere, we would run there. Very true. Especially when we are, we, 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 we are in trouble. But the healer is here. Mm. But the healer is here. Mm. Oh, yes, he is. Mm. We've called upon him the whole day. Mm. He is faithful, telling him, Lord, tonight, let it be somebody's day mm. in the name of Jesus. Please tell us where you're watching us from and start to testify what God is doing because we believe that he is doing something. If he could get her mm. from kidney trouble, mm. he can get you from kidney trouble tonight Shakata. in the name of mm. Jesus Christ. Take it up and take us a little more. Yeah. Mm. Um, I, before I give another testimony, I just want to read the word of God from the book of uh, Isaiah 40:29. He gives strength to the weary and increased power of the weak. Sometimes our faith goes so down when we are weak in the body, when we are weak in the spirit. And uh, one of the things I would like to tell our viewers today is that you should know the God that was tortured because of you and I. He has the power to give you. He has the strength that he can share with you. So receive strength even to wait upon him. Sometimes, woman of God, people are not able to wait upon the Lord because of those um, th th those. Torment, uh, the tormenting spirit, tormenting powers of darkness, those sicknesses, they put them down until they have no more strength. So some people don't die because of sicknesses, some uh, die because of hopelessness. When they have no hope, they, they have no strength to pray. But when they remember, when they know that it is God who gives power to the weary, they they sensitize the small strength that is in them. They, can, they are able to call upon the Lord. So we pray by the power of the Holy Ghost that you may embrace this power of Jesus Christ. But by these stripes, he gave us power to be actually to be able to stand, to be able to call, to be even when we are weary, we still call upon him and we are healed. So I give another testimony. And this testimony was, uh, I think I gave it last time. But the, the other one actually I can give was that um, we, we got a, when we were there, we got another transfer to Kenya High Commission in, 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 in Canada, where my husband was a sister ambassador then. And out of nowhere, I was struck by another disease. And I was told there is something that is swollen on my, <laughs> on, on, my, on, on, my, on my fallopian tube. The womb, let me tell you, woman of God, that thing was killing me. Like I would faint and completely get lost. But let me tell you, when they said it might be some issues with, uh, oh, they called it, they, they gave it a name I don't a want name. to call. I don't want we, to call we, the we name. We don't want to go there. <laughs> but I told God, even if there is anything, you are able to change it. Yes. You are able to transform it. And I'm not a category, I'm not in the category of those people who contract that disease. And I told God, me, I know, even if they remove this thing and then go and take their test, I will not be a victim of that. Yes. And out of nowhere, I told God, I refused surgery. And God actually delivered me. And that thing disappeared by itself. Amen. But they said, not by itself. But, yeah, yes. by the power of God. By the power Hallelujah. of God. Hallelujah, yes. Yes. I, I, by the hand of God. I, woman of God. By I'm the a, working of Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. And you know, you are saying that mm. sometimes when people are suffering and they're in trouble, mm. many times they 
they don't know how to wait on God. On God. Frustration yeah. sets in, you know, because of pain and suffering, you know, hopelessness mm -hmm. set in mm. and, and all that. And you said something very profound. Mm. That many times people do not die because of the sickness. Mm -hmm. They didn't they die because of frustration. Frustration. Because of hopelessness. Mm. And you know, my mind quickly landed on what the scripture says about the snake, mm -hmm. the the bros, mm -hmm. the 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 bros and snake serpent. Yes. Serpents, yeah. yes. That mm -hmm. was raised in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, and the Bible says the that when snakes, mm. it looks to me, I, I start to imagine mm. that there were many snakes all over the place, yeah. all over the place. Mm -hmm. And guess what? It, it's amazing mm -hmm. that in the midst of all those snakes, mm -hmm. that someone would be beaten mm -hmm. and look up. And now, be healed. that's very interesting. <laughs> That's very interesting. I know. Because I believe it was not just one snake. Mm -mm. There were snakes all over the place. Yes. And I think, humanly, humanly speaking, mm -hmm. when you are surrounded by snakes, instead of looking at one that is hung on a tree, you look you at, look at this live one so that you can evade yeah, them. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yes. You can evade them. Mm -hmm. Yes. But Jesus, the Lord, the Bible says that they, they are to keep looking. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what's going on here. When what's they going bite on, you, it, keep on looking. You just keep looking mm. so that the healing comes. can come. May there be grace tonight. Hallelujah. To look. Amen. To look to Jesus. Amen. To look to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. In Jesus' name. We go for, we, we will get, uh, we will get uh, some music right now. I know our brother Josh and our brother Evans are here. They are, they, their hearts are bubbling to worship the Lord. And we want you to join us here as we worship the Lord together. Hallelujah. Glory to God in the highest. Yes. Amen. Amen. Josh. He leaves. Mm. I can face tomorrow just because he leaves. Oh, fear is gone because I know he holds my future. And life is worth and living just because it leaves. Because it leaves, I can face tomorrow. Because it leaves, all fear is gone. Cause I know He holds the future And life is one I'm living just because He lives Because He lives I confess tomorrow Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
called Sandy Son. They call him Jesus. He came to love, heal and forgive. He lived and died to pay my pardon. An empty grave is there to prove my Savior lives. Go send his son, they call him Jesus. He came to love, he let forgive, he lived and died to buy my pardon. An empty grave is there to prove my Savior lives because He lives, because He lives. I confess tomorrow because He lives. All fear is gone because. Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Because he lives, because he lives. I think, Josh, we can do it. We can just do that chorus. Mm. Just one more time, because he lives. Hallelujah. Because he lives, I confess tomorrow. Because he lives, our fear is gone. to face tomorrow. I speak to you in Jesus name because he lives. He is alive and well. He is alive and well. I want you to know he is alive and well. He knows you. He knows where you are. And I can see we have a few uh, some prayer requests and we got some testimonies. A shout of hallelujah all over the place. Wherever you are, join me in celebrating the goodness of Jesus Christ, the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody here, Nora Umodo. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Nora, for you know, just testifying to God's goodness. Surely this testimony tell all that he is alive and well, and he lives, and thank you, Nora, for this testimony. You say, you prayed for me sometimes back. I used to have blood in my urine, I remember. I remember this wow. case. I am now completely healed and my urine is completely normal. Oh, Jesus. glory to God in the highest. Glory to Jesus. We receive this grace. We celebrate with you, my sister, that the yoke of the destroyer and the rod of the destroyer that was meant to destroy you has been broken into pieces and your testimony is an encouragement to someone here tonight. We give God the glory. He says, you say, by his stripes, 
I have to testify about his goodness. Oh, this is another testimony. You didn't write who you are. Please let me know who you are. The mother with a little baby. And I remember you too. I think I remember us, you know, lifting this case before the Lord, the gracious master and Lord and healer. And your baby was not putting on weight. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. Who is that? Who does these things? It is Jesus. Blessed is his holy name. You say, by his stripes. Yes, I have to testify about his goodness. Hmm. Yes, you say, my baby girl gained her weight. And you are so grateful. Oh, yes. I know what that must have meant to just have a baby that you are holding that is not putting on weight. And the Lord came through for your baby now. Your joy is full. Your joy is full. You are rejoicing in the Lord. And let me tell you, the Lord rejoices as he sees your baby, you know, continue to add weight. And may the baby blossom in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody says, praise the Lord. I really enjoy it to watch the Balm of Gilead show. It's a real blessing. He says, now please pray for my, for my adult son. After he had gone through with his divorce, he is still under the yoke or captivity of his ex-wife. And this has led him to alcohol and other health issues. We pray for healing for your son. The healing of the soul of your son. We separate her, him. It, mm. There was a separation through divorce. Now let the soul be separated. Shaka. We stand with you, Mama. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says the word of God is, 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 is powerful. Mm. It is sharper than any two-edged sword. The Bible says it defines asunder. Mm. Yes, soul and spirit. We cause the word of God to define asunder. Yes, the two souls that had been one but now are divorced. So that one stops manipulating and controlling the other and bring, continuing to bring the other one under the yoke of suffering and sickness and wastefulness and uh, alcohol. In Jesus' name, we separate them in the spirit. In Jesus' name, and we command everyone to be separate so that they live without troubling one another. And mom, receive the miracle of your of your son in jesus name i say you will testify to the goodness of god write to us now write to us we don't have a lot of time write to us we would like to read and greet you also from where we are and just know that you are watching and just tell us what god is doing for you like this wonderful people are testifying somebody is saying i kindly request you for prayer for my uncle jiro since last year he has been battling kidney failure. Mm. Uh -huh. mm. Mm. Jiro, wherever you are, we send. We are That's sending. Right we are sending a word. Jesus we are name. sending a word of healing tonight. You have a testimony here of somebody who mm. had kidney troubles. Who was healed? And tonight is your day. It's your night. So, uh, battling kidney failure and undergoing dialysis, unfortunately, is con uh, his condition wasn't last December and he has been hospitalized since then. Your prayer for his strength, comfort, and total healing will deeply, be deeply appreciated. In the name of Jesus Christ, right now on that hospital bed, Apostle Magdalene will be praying right now. Look at that camera and pray, my sister. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we remember our brother Jiro in that hospital bed right now. By the blood of Jesus Christ, we command those kidneys to behave and to be normal in the mighty name of Jesus. We release healing power upon you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. With this corporate grace, we speak healing upon you in Jesus' mighty name. We pray that you receive your healing right now. 
right now. We pray that your faith will be lifted and believe that the Lord is here. By his stripes, you are healed. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, we command that healing right now in that hospital bed. In the mighty name of Jesus, start living right now in Jesus' mighty name. If the Lord healed me of the same, you are going to be healed and you are healed in Jesus' mighty name. And I just think, uh, Apostle Magdalene, you need to lift up your hand. Yes. Having been healed of the same condition mm. and this person mm. that is believing for a uncle or is it his uncle, mm. um, I'm not sure. Yes. The, let them come and touch your hands yeah. as, a, as a contact. Mm. Let them on the screen, just yes. on the screen and yes. say, I've been healed. I was healed. Yes. Now, Jiro, wherever you are, like receive healing. Go ahead. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Jiro, wherever you are, you are healed. I touch my head and I connect my head with your hands and with your head right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may the healing power of God rest upon you right now. Touch your head wherever you are and believe with me. Touch it and believe with me. You are receiving power right now, healing power right now healing power right now in the mighty name of jesus christ i decree i declare those hands that are put out on the hands of someone right now in the mighty name of jesus christ the power of god is resting upon them right now in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare the same power that healed me of these diseases the same power is upon you right now in jesus mighty name we pray and hallelujah Amen. brian you are there yeah you're watching from pipeline you need a job and you need God's mercy. You've struggled uh, for such a long time and you need a good job. It is well. It is true. I say to you, it is well with you. It is well with you. Go get yourself a job in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody is saying, I would like to start thanking God. Mm. He says, last week, <laughs> devil, you are deep. In the name of Jesus, while watching this program, the servants of God prayed for my mom of a persistent cough she had been having and now it is gone. I shout with you a hallelujah to the healer, to the healing balm of Gilead. Mm. Yes, but he says, but please, no, don't put the word but. Maybe you can say and, mm. you know, please pray for uh, for her women of God, she is diagnosed with heart problems and uh, so, so much there. And, you know, uh, she needs to be healed of her heart. Mm. Pray for this, Mama. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in this grace and a balm of Gilead, we decree and declare that heart of this Mama is healed right now. In Jesus' mighty name, as I lay my hand on this heart, I connect the grace of God that is upon me, upon our dear servant of God, um, uh, Pastor Sunta, and we decree and declare that that heart is healed right now, right now, right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray and we believe. Maybe Amen. You could take a few of the prayer requests that you have on Facebook yeah. and also read out some of the comments there. Yes, mm. that we as have we a... connect to the viewers wherever you are. Yes, mm. there, there, there's one viewer. It's, it says it's uh, Murid Caroline watching from Kiambu. She says, "Pray for my uterus; it has problem." God bless you. We want to believe with you, uh, Murid Caroline. I think you had the first testimony I gave about my, my uterus. And I want to decree and declare over your uterus right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, in this show right now, we decree and declare that that uterus is being healed. We don't know the problem. We might not, not know the problem, but we declare in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that that uterus <coughs> right now is healed in Jesus' mighty name. There will be no surgery. The surgery will be cancelled in Jesus' mighty name. Whatever the enemy was planning for evil, God is turning it for your good. So that uterus, be healed right now. Be healed right now. As I touch my womb, I decree, I declare, Caroline, your uterus is healed in Jesus' mighty name. It is healed, Amen. Caroline. In the name of Jesus Christ, we send the wand of healing. We send out the wand of life. 
We said the name that carries healing, the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We are just about to finish this tonight. Don't be left behind. Please write to us. And I think you have more people. Yeah. I think you have more people. Just go ahead. Take a few minutes. Um, the, 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 the few people actually are just um, uh, telling us where they are watching from. Yeah. Just mention some of them. Yeah. Thank you. Um, our son, Pastor Felis Mutua, watching from uh, the river. And she's, he's saying this is great testimony. Uh, this is uh, there is Pastor Rose watching from Meru. And, and um, the, um, there is also Margaret Mwangi watching from Lemuru. And, and be blessed for that. May the Lord bless you for watching the Balm of Gilead. Uh, there is Agnes Kevin. Uh, he says, because he lives, I can face tomorrow. May you True. face your tomorrow. Amen. Because he lives in Jesus' mighty name. Mm. There is Nyaga, because he lives, I can face tomorrow. He haunts the future. Yes, we declare he haunts your future in Jesus' mighty name. Yes. Um, there, there is uh, uh, Pastor Musioki watch, watching from UK. The Lord bless you for watching. Keep tuned in Jesus' mighty name. And may the Lord perfect everything that concerns you and your family. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In this season we pray that you shall testify hallelujah they still love lo love he says praise the lord uh, praise the lord who is with this us there's sally mudoni amen praise the lord apostle maggie uh there is uh shine wanja we are tuned in please keep tuned always welcome to this uh, show and you'll be blessed the Lord, will, the Lord bless you so much. Amen. There amen. are so many others. There are so yeah. many others, and I have a few more on YouTube tonight. You are giving us company in the presence of the Lord. We are such. We are such a yeah. company. Yes. I can mention about what uh, Mikael Duku is saying. Yes. Thank you so much, Mikael Duku. He says, the balm of Gilead represents the only true source of physical and spiritual healing and salvation. And it is true, we have testified it in Jesus mighty name. Yes, and we would want you to be standing with us. Mm. You must understand that the contention against this kind of a voice, the intimidation in the spirit, the enemy wanting to silence this up yes. so that this sword and this voice don't go through, we would want you to stand with us. Yeah. And we would want you to just be there mm. until the floods, the yes. floods of healing Mm. Go through the land yes. and the land. It looks like you have something mm -hmm. else exciting. Yeah, it's a petty mulay. She's saying, watching you, you are a real blessing. Blessings, Amen. Mama. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Edna, keep, keep catch. Yes. You are tuned in. Thank you, Josephine. We see you in Jesus' name. Yes, we can see you. Lucen Duberry. Amen. 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 We are healed. Hallelujah. Yes, you are healed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Rehab Damboki, we see you there. Hallelujah. You are, you are witness. Somebody is saying they are witnesses to mm -hmm. the healings mm. that you are testifying about tonight. Amen. And I think that's wonderful. Yes. I think that's wonderful. Yes. Beth Kamau, Asante Sana, for giving us fellowship tonight. We can feel the warmth in the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, Karen. Karen. Karen Kibuchi is saying, Hallelujah, the power that raised Christ Jesus mm. from the dead. The same will raise someone tonight. Hallelujah. Don't go away without being raised. Mm. Tonight, surely again, again, I speak in the name of Jesus that the presence of the Lord, the presence of the Lord in Jesus' name will be real for you wherever you are. And if his presence is there, where the presence of the Lord is, there is liberty. And even where we are, there is liberty. And we have a few more people. Regina Mohammed, you are shouting a amen. Glory to God. Josephine, you are saying, I have a prayer request for healing. Friends, we are just about uh, to close down this program. Don't be left behind. Now I sense the grace, Lily, for healing. Mm. I sense the grace for healing. Are you in hospital bed? In the name of Jesus Christ, you need to leave. You need to be healed and discharged in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, Josephine, be healed tonight. Whatever the sickness is, whatever the trouble is, be healed tonight. Why do we do what we do? We do what we do because 
We want to, to stand in faith to prove that Jesus Christ is alive and well and that he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do not go without your miracle tonight. We want to also talk about our sponsors right now. We have several sponsors. And today, today we want to celebrate, you know, this program. Some people just decided that mm. they're going to stand. Hallelujah. That this, this subject matter, mm. this area is so important to them. True. And they say, they feel, you know, I'm just sensing the glory of God. Like and, they, and the goodness of God. Mm. Whoever Shande this one Kati. is for, Jesus. receive your miracle. In Jesus receive name. the, hand, the touch of God. Receive the ministry from mm. the Holy One. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, I know somebody is reaching out. Somebody mm. is reaching out. Mm. And as you reach out, may you receive a major healing tonight mm. in the name of Jesus. There are people who believe by the grace of God in what we are doing. And they glorify Christ mm. by supporting what we do. Tonight we want to celebrate our sponsor, Benin Properties Limited, located at Siokimao, along Katani, Katani Road. Yeah, I know. Mm. Mm. Oh, you know the place? Know the place. Oh, you do? The, you do. is my place. Don't buy from somewhere else. Yeah. When you need, yes. and your friends. I have friends. Tell them there is someone who has planted yes. in the healing balm of Gilead. And when you have business, live in healing. Mm. May it blossom in, in the name Jesus of name. Jesus. Mm. The, let me say something about them. It says for the past decade, Benin Properties Limited has been a trusted expert in planning, design, and construction, specializing in new homes and renovations. Their commitment to quality and personalized solutions has solidified their legacy in the real estate industry. Build construction building, Benin Properties Limited is dedicating to crafting homes and fostering lasting connections for inquiries, you know, to meet them in real estate for your, and all your inquiries. Yes, please contact them at uh, 0795, 0795, 0795, I go slowly, 0795, Two four two, yes zero seven nine five four five six. If you're in the Siokimau area or you want a touch of properties with grace and a touch of construction with the grace of God, this is where to go. Zero seven nine five four five six two four two. When you go there, tell them the Balm of Gilead program from LFV TV send you there. Benin Properties Limited. Siokemao along Katani Road. God bless you. Thank you for sponsoring us tonight. Everybody getting healed tonight. You have planted in it and healing is therefore also your portion. May the Lord preserve your lives, preserve your family, preserve your business in Jesus mighty name god bless you say something my sister as um, you go to close as you are as you are actually reading what um as, as you are advertising mm. i i had the spirit of the lord say um there is someone who has irregular bleeding mm -hmm. and it has stopped the lord has dealt with it oh I, I had some irregular bleeding yeah that has taken several months the lord says it is healed right now there's someone who is being healed of joints ah. right now mm. as we are talking. I Amen. had something cut my cut my my knees and I felt like yeah. there are somebody's knees that are the Lord is healing right now. Mm -hmm. And when God do it, please testify because it has happened. Yeah. In Jesus' name. And I, I, I agree. I agree because I know that my sister, uh, Apostle Magdalene, is graced greatly by the Lord in these graces of healing. So somebody struggling with your knees, please be healed in the name of Jesus. What was the other one? The Just other one is irregular bleeding. Irregular bleeding, you are there, you need the hand of God. Finally, 
Uh, Irene Soita, you want us to pray for your mom who has been diagnosed with heart failure from 2021. We command a reversal of the troubles and the destructions and the degradation that is done to that heart by the rod of the thief, the killer, the destroyer, which we destroy right now in the name of Jesus Christ concerning your mom. Josephine, you say, I was told I have to be going after every three months for blood test of sugar and thyroid. Again, be healed in the name of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. All the people that are fellowshiped with us tonight, may God bless you so much. It was wonderful to have you. It was wonderful to have fellowship with you. We wish we would hear more from you every time we come for the Healing Balm of Gilead program. In the name of Jesus, yet we know you are there and many of you are also reaching out to us. Apostle Magdalene, you can say you are closing remarks. Yeah, all I want to, to tell you as uh, we close, one thing we want, to, we want you to know, or I, I want to remind you is that we should keep on reminding ourselves is that God sent his son Jesus Christ to us or to the world as our healer. So the moment he sacrificed himself and gave his, he gave his only begotten son to us, he gave, he gave, he gave us for, for, he gave him to us for, his, for our deliverance, for our healing. And it is all around healing. So we pray that you believe in this God and you'll be healed. These things are things of faith. When you believe, you receive him and he will heal you in Jesus' name. We will continue to pray for the prayer items that we have received that we've not mentioned, you know, uh, on air. But we can read them, we can see them, and we will continue to pray even before we leave. Expect a miracle in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Tonight, mm. I just want to say thank you for being with us. I'm always, I'm your host, among your hosts for the Balm of Gilead show. Asunta Juma is my name, and I'm so glad to be a part of what God is doing to release grace, healing, peace, righteousness, comfort, even upon his people. Good night, Shalom. See you next week for another episode of the Balm of Gilead show. Amen and amen. amen. Shalom. Shalom. No other name but the name of Jesus. No precious blood but the blood of Jesus. I am redeemed. I am restored by the precious blood of blood of Jesus. I am redeemed. I am restored by the precious blood of God. No other name by the name of Jesus. No precious blood the blood of Jesus. I am redeemed. I am restored by the precious blood of God. No other name by the name of Jesus. No precious blood by the blood of Jesus. I am redeemed. I am restored by the precious blood of God. I am redeemed. I am restored. No.